hey there, and welcome to the first of hopefully many tutorials I'll be doing on expression for the BYB community. Uh, this one, this tutorial will be about arrays, since I was going to start with my Blackjack E2. As you can see, uh, this is all array. It's all about using array and storing information and calling that information. But uh, we'll get into that into the next video. For now, we're just going to talk about how to create, add and remove information, and how you can use that information. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to create our array. This is simple enough. We do add persist at the line at the very top of your new expression. You'll see add persist. Uh, think of a variable name. You don't have to use array. You can use whatever you want. Uh, variables do have to start with a capital letter, but after that, it doesn't matter. All we do is do colon array, and variable array is now of type array. So to create or add to an entity or an entity, an array, there are a couple ways you can do this. If you have all the information or you know all the information you want to add to an array, you could do something as simple as this: array is equal to array. And now just start listing everything you want. Uh, we'll do apples, grapes, BRB, just anything like that. And now you have an array with three items, or three indexes. The first one will be apples, second one will be grapes, third one will be BRB. Now, there's another way you can do this. You could do, you can assign each index individually. Since we already have those, we'll go to number four. We'll do array, slot four of type, let's go number, let's do a number this time, is equal to eight. And array five will be of type entity and that'll be me myself or yourself all these works in our arrays can store any type of data strings numbers entities vectors oh let's add a vector why not I got time vectory um, simple vector, no problem. Those all work. That will pace without a problem. Now, another way, if you get new information at some point during your code, you can add to an array by doing your variable array push data type, say it's a string, lol moo sucks. I love you, man. Anyway, um, and that will be in slot 7. No problem. Now, if you wanted to do remove the same thing that we just added, we could do array remove either 7, since we know it's at slot 7, or we could do dot uh, remove string 7. And that will remove the same thing. Now, obviously, if we paste this, it won't work because that won't be there. So we'll just comment that out. Or you know what? Actually, we'll do uh, eight array uh, push string. Just kidding. Heart. But really. information being stored. Using this information is really simple and there's also a few bits of information that we didn't add to the array that we can use. 
the first example we'll use is count. It is how many total indexes are being used. Right now it would be six because we added these six bits of information. We added these two, but then right here we removed those two. So array count would be equal to six right now. If you have just numbers, you could do array sum. That would add every number in the array together and you would get the output. So you could do a equals array sum and that would be probably well, just eight because that's the only number we have. You can do array min is the lowest number, array max is the highest number, you can do uh, array shift removes the very first uh, item in the array which is apples and returns it as a variable so we could do b equals and that will be equal to apples you can do anything uh, I mean what you can do with arrays is endless there it can store every type of data type and you can do practically anything with it now people you often use it as the most common example I could think of would be the smart door which is um, whenever you walk up to a prop it magically opens and then when you get a certain distance away from it it closes the way they do this is with arrays you have a certain chat command when they type exclamation point add or period add or slash add and then a character name it finds that player by their name and adds it to an array and then later in the code it determines their distance from the E2 chip and when their distance is under a certain amount the most common is 35 the door opens it makes the prop fade so they can walk in and walk through that's all done with arrays now like I stated earlier my blackjack E2 is pretty much all array. It's it's ninety percent array, five percent basic math, and five percent writing to a console screen to describe like what's happening. That's pretty much it. And but I'll get into that in my next video. Uh, for now, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on arrays. And if anyone needs any help at all, PM me on the forums, PM me uh, if you see me on Gary's Mod, add me on Steam, uh, my name is Busor, I'll be around. Just uh, don't be afraid to ask, I'll help anybody who wants to learn. And now on to Blackjack.